there isn't a university president alive who hasn't at some point said to the students incoming or current, to the public, to parents of students, that if you come to my university, you will leave here being a more critical thinker than when you first arrived. What is critical thinking? In this post, we'll examine how one Carleton University business professor used his critical thinking skills to rationalize an $8.4 million salary to the CEO of one of George Weston Limited subsidiaries during the pandemic. The beneficiary of this largesse was George Weston's grandson, Galen Weston. This business professor argues CEOs are highly skilled and should be compensated accordingly. Is this pay raise justified? Um, the, there's a market, a competitive market for superstars, whether it's entertainers, musicians, uh, athletes, CEOs, there is a supply and a demand and you pay the market price or you lose them. George Weston Limited is probably Canada's largest company with an estimated 155,000 employees. The conglomerate has deep roots in the grocery business. During the COVID-19 pandemic, all Canadian grocery retailers experienced record profits. The CEO of one of George Weston's subsidiaries, Galen Weston, was paid $8.4 million for running the subsidiary, representing a significant increase from the previous year. Consultants hired by Mr. Weston determined surprisingly that he was underpaid. When interviewed on CBC News about the reasonableness of the pay increase, the Carleton University Business School professor informed listeners that Weston was a superstar. His huge raise clearly reflected the principles of supply and demand. Professor Elliott has business school orthodoxy and the principles of introductory economics down pat. There was a very limited supply of relatives that Chairman George Galen Weston had to choose from to be his CEO, so he did the appropriate thing and chose himself. Thankfully, we were lucky enough to have a university professor explain the basics of our economic system for the benefit of CBC listeners. For some reason, we sometimes get confused between capitalism and feudalism.